Alrighty, my name is Andrew Kidd. Welcome to my science lab in my backyard. I have Everest alumni, Sam Kidd, behind the camera. And we're here today to learn about chemical equilibrium. So, what is chemical equilibrium? The word equal is in there, and that should help you a little bit. So, equilibrium is when a chemical reaction has a product and a reactant. And at one point, that product and reactant reach a point where they aren't going to change anymore. They hit a point where they're set at a certain volume or amount, and they aren't changing, they're set there. Dynamic equilibrium is the same thing. So the product and reactant reach the same point of where they aren't changing anymore. However, it's caused by the rate, these two measuring cups, they're changing the same amount from each. And so there's a net loss of zero because let's say 250 milliliters of reactant is moving over to the product, but 250 milliliter of product is moving over to reactant. So we've hit a point where no numbers are changing, everything is staying the same, but there is still a reaction going on. So I'm gonna start by showing that off and show you how it works. So the two measuring cups, the rate, and then we have our product and we have our reactant. So to start, the rate is gonna go in, pick up its stuff, and we're gonna pour each. So nothing's really coming out of the reactant yet, and a lot of but a lot of reactant is going into the product, not much product is going into the reactant. So now we go again, just a little, little bit of product into the reactant, a lot of reactant into the product. Now a little visual, the colors are also becoming more alike, biggie blue, we all love that. So now we're going to keep going. And notice how the volumes of the changing over substance is slowly becoming more and more the same. And once we reach the same volume changing over every time, we're gonna reach our dynamic equilibrium. So right now we have about one cup, come, one and a half cups coming over to one cup. So we're getting there, we're getting close. And then just a couple more probably, almost there. And now if we go in, there's gonna be one cup of, one and a bit cup of our product, and then about one and a bit cup of our reactant. So now, the same amount is going back and forth. So I could do this all day, and nothing's gonna change. We're at dynamic equilibrium. So, our good friend Le Chatelier came up with a principle a few hundred years ago, way smarter than I'll ever be. But he came up with this principle about what happens when you add heat, or change the concentration or the pressure of an equation and how that affects the equilibrium. So we're going to go over concentration, heat, and pressure and how those can all affect it. So to start at concentration, by saying concentration I'm meaning pretty much adding more of the product or more of the reactant. So if we change the, the concentration of the reactant, that means pretty much adding more of it. So that means the equilibrium is going to favor more of the product, because if we add more add more to this side, then the equilibrium is going to have to be higher to make it equal on this side. And then heat works in the same sense as the concentration. We look at heat as part of the equation, so there's two types of equations, exothermic and endothermic. Endothermic is when the heat is entering in endo, so that means the heat starts on the reactant side. So we have, if we add heat over here, it's the same as adding more concentration, so it'll favor the products. If it's an exothermic reaction, which means the heat is a product, then adding, adding more of that heat will make the equilibrium favor the reactant side. Because same as concentration, whichever side you add it to, the equilibrium favors the other side more. And then finally is pressure, which in a sense, it can only be used when one or more of the product or reactants are gas. So if the pressure is added to the side that's the reactant, it works the same as concentration. So adding the, adding the pressure to the product is just going to make the, fa the equilibrium favor the reactants more. Adding pressure to the gaseous reactant is only going to make the equilibrium favor the product more. Thank you for joining me and learning about equilibrium today. And I am going to tell you, if you want to do this experiment at home, make sure you're wearing your Everest attire to stay safe and always some Everest accepted yellow Crocs. Thank you very much.